Hi guys. In this first video I'd like to go over the basics of Flopzilla and in the later videos we'll delve a little bit deeper into the more advanced features. So let's start by setting up a simple situation. I'll enter a range in the matrix with the slider and I'll enter a flop. And basically that's all there is to it. The statistics field will now show how often a range will hit certain types of hands on the flop. For example, it will hit top pair 8.87% of the time, it will hit a flush draw 5.74% of the time, and it will hit a set 1.57% of the time. Now this state is currently in percentages. Should you be more interested in combos, you can talk to combo mode by pressing tab. And there we are. Apparently, there's 575 combos in this range in total, of which 51 are top pair, 33 are a flush draw, 106 are an outside straight draw, 129 are a gut shot, and so on. And if we want to focus a little bit more on a certain statistic, for example top pair, if we mouse over it, and all top pairs will now light up in purple. And here's the sets, and here's the flush draws, and if you want to see how many combos are available for each hand, they are displayed in the lower left of each style. So there's 9 combos of ace-jack offsuit, and 3 combos of ace-jack suited, and 9 combos of jack-9 offsuit. Here on the right is the death card section. Here you can remove cards from the deck. However, if you enter specifically two cards, then those will be treated as a starting hand. For example, I've just selected Ace Diamond, King of Diamonds. And now, in the small field on the lower right, the equity of both the range and the hand will be given. So the range has 31% equity, and the hand has approximately 69% equity. And the chance of that being a tie is 2.5%. And below that are three more lines. Those reflect the chance of holding the best hand right now. A funny additional property of those lines is that if you mouse over them, and I'll mouse over the hand is best right now, the hands that are within that range will light up in purple. So currently we're looking at the hands in the range that are beaten by Ace-King. And at the bottom of the pop-up a breakdown in combos is displayed. So there's 265 combos in the range that beat Ace-King, 229 combos that are beaten by Ace-King, and 9 combos that tie with Ace-King. And that makes a total of 503 combos. One very nice feature of Flopzilla is that there's never a need to press a compute button to get the results. All data is calculated immediately without the need to do anything. For example, whenever I change a hand in the range, the statistics will automatically and immediately adjust. And I'll just clear that again. The statistics field itself is subdivided into three parts. The top part, which is in blue, shows the chance of hitting certain hand strengths of made hands, such as a straight, an over pair, middle pair, or ace high. In the second section, draws are displayed in green, so there's a chance of 3.38% of hitting a flush draw and 23.3% of hitting a gut shot. And below that, in purple, is the chance of hitting several combo draws, such as a flush draw and a pair, which has a chance of 0.99%, or a gut shot and a pair. And here on top, we have a toggle button that currently says absolute. If we press it, we'll switch to cumulative mode. And this means that the field now displays the chance of having a certain hand or better. For example, the chance of having middle pair or better is 33.8%. And again, if I mouse over it, all hands that are middle pair or better will light up in purple in the matrix. And I'll just toggle back to absolute mode. There's also a couple of interesting things about the starting hand matrix that I'd like to point out. The first is, if you want to select multiple hands, you don't need to click every single one. But you can just move your mouse to the desired starting hand, press down, keep the mouse pressed down, and mouse over everything you want to select. And I'll just deselect it. And of course, to select the range quickly, you can use the slider bar at the bottom. 
and there's also a smaller red button here that removes the top part of the range. If you're not happy with the hand tracking that is used by the slider, you can change that with this drop down in the upper left. For example, if I select Poker Stove, the slider will now reflect that particular hand ranking system. To get a text format of this range, press the Range button. And you'll get a dialog with a text string that describes this range. In the same manner, you can also use this dialog to import a range. For example, if I enter aces through sevens and press enter, we have now imported that range string. To attach a weight to the starting hands, you can use the weight buttons in the upper right. I'll select weight number one. And everything I now click will get that weight attached to it. And again, if I want to select multiple hands, I'll just keep the mouse pressed down and everything that I mouse over will be selected. Now currently this weight is set at 100%. To change the weight, move the weight slider here to the desired value. And with weight number one still being selected. And the weight will change accordingly. Another way to change the weight is to use the scroll button on your mouse. Okay, and for the final part of this video, I'd like to show you that Flopzilla can also calculate how a range hits an undefined flop. In order to see that, just leave the board empty. I'll just clear it. And if you now press on the Flopzilla logo, the software will take a few seconds to do some calculations. And apparently this range has a 14.9% chance of hitting top pair a 2.52% chance of hitting 3 of a kind or a set and a 3.39% chance of hitting a flush draw. Let's try that for one specific hand. Let's try 7-6 suited and calculate. Now some of these numbers may look familiar to you since they're in quite a few books. The chance of hitting a flush draw with 7-6 suited is 10.9% and the chance of hitting an 8 out straight draw is 9.6%. And let's try one more. Let's try sevens and calculate. So the chance of flopping a set with a pocket pair is 10.8%. And the chance of hitting a full house is 0.98%. Oké, okay, that wraps it up for a general overview. Please watch the next videos for a detailed discussion of the more advanced features in Flopzilla. For example, the next video will deal with how to filter hands from the range so that you can simulate post-flop play and move beyond the flop to the turn and the river with a more narrow range. Okay, that's it for this video.